Today's video will discuss chapter 8-2, Sequences and Equations. The so first thing I want to talk about is a little bit of vocabulary as you're looking at a sequence. So this would be a possible sequence, and each of these numbers is called a term. So this would be the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and then obviously the next one would be the fifth term. And some people at this point could probably see what the pattern is. Right? And so the pattern is it's increasing by four, or I am adding four to each term. So I take that first term, right, and add four. Um, and so this positive four, because I'm adding four, remember if I'm going down, I'd be subtracting, so it'd be a negative number. But because this is a positive four, the common difference is four. So when, people, so when someone talks about a pattern or a sequence, we often talk about the common difference, and so in this particular example, the common difference would be four. And so that's going to be a really important number as we move on to figuring out equations, um, how, how you do that. So keep in mind that each of these is called a term, and then this would be the common difference. Now, let's see how we could use that to help us find the equation. So in other words, what I'm going to try to do is not only do I want to figure out what's the equation of this, but let's say that I want to find a specific term. So maybe I want to find what is the 20th term of this equation. So this is the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term. I want to go all the way to the 20th term without having to write out. Obviously, I could just keep, you know, I mean, many people see that you're adding three. So I could just keep adding three all the way until I get all the way up to the 20th number, and I'd have my answer, but there's got to be a, a faster and easier way. So first thing we want to do is find the common difference, and so the common difference here is 3, right? And so a lot of times what people, the way that people will write this is I'm going to call this x and y, and so these numbers I'm going to say are my y values. Okay, so the numbers that I was given, or the value this, uh, these, these terms are, the, the values are my y, the term number, so this is the first term, the second term, the third term, and the fourth term, those are my x values. And so now what I want to do is try to figure out, okay, what is the formula, right, or what is the rule, or what is the equation for the sequence? And so, as we said, this is going up by 3. So I know that y equals, and this is going to be 3 times x. So I take this common difference, right, and that number is what's going there. But I know that if I go y equals 3 times x, if I put a, substitute a 1 in here for x, three time, 1 times 3 is 3, but that's not what y equals, right? Or if I take this 2 and I substitute 3 times 2 is 6, but that's not what y equals. So I need to add or subtract something behind this that's going to actually make this true. So when I put a 1 in here, 3 times 1 is 3, but it needs to be 7. So what I need to do is add 4 more. So now when I take this 1, I substitute 3 times 1 is 3, plus 4 is 7. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 is 10. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 is 13. So my equation for this sequence is 3x plus 4. So there are a couple of ways to see this, but the really important thing is a lot of people believe that this 3 has something to do with this, and it actually doesn't. This 3 is what's going there, right? So this, this 3, this difference, common difference of 3, is the number that goes in front of the x. Remember, if it were going down, this could be, in theory, a negative number. All right, let's try another one. 3, 8, 13, 18. So again, I'll make my x and y table, and I'm intentionally making it a table that is uh, horizontal instead of vertical, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Remember, these values here that are part of my pattern, those are my y's. And so the term, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? First term, second term, third term, fourth, fourth term. Oh, I never ended up figuring out what the 20th was, right? We'll do it on this one. So let's find out at, at the end, we're going to find the 20th term. Remind me so I don't forget this time. All right, so the common difference is going to be plus 5, right? So that means that this is going to be y equals 5 
times x. But when I substitute 1 in for x, it does not give me the y that I want. When I substitute 2 in for x, it does not give me the y that I want. So I'm going to need to do something behind this. So this is going to become, when I put a 1 in here, 1 times 5 is 5, but I want it to be 3. So what could I add or subtract to 5 to get to 3? I would need to subtract 2. And so now I have 5x minus 2. So when I put a 1 in, this comes out. When I put a 2 in for x, this comes out. So this is very similar to the in-out boxes that you did. Now, let's not forget this time, we're going to find the 20th term. If I want to find the 20th term, that just means that I want to see what is y when x is 20. Well, now I have a formula. So I'm going to go y equals 5 times 20 minus 2. This is 100 minus 2. So that means that this is going to be 98. So the 20th term, if I were to take this all the way out to the 20th term, the number would be 98. Right? And you could do the same thing on the problem that we just did. I'll come back. I know I'm kind of going out of order. But I want to find the 20th term. And remember, this could be anything. The 20th term is just going to be with I substitute a 20 in for here. 3 times 20 is 60 plus 4. So the 20th term is 64. Now remember, this can be anything. I mean, it, it, could be, it could be 5, which would be the next term. It could be 1,000, which would be the 1,000th term. It doesn't matter what this number is, because once you have the formula, all this is an easy substitution, very similar to the function equations you were working on yesterday. All right, that's all I got for you on sequences and equations. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to do the problems on the bottom of the page. I'll see you in class.